Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 90 of Let's Platinum Final Fantasy VII Remake. Okay, let's talk to Murray. Oh, so you're the new Merc looking for work in Wall Market. Maybe you can help us sort this out. Some criminals have stolen a shipment of donations found for the Leaf House. The fiends. The culprit is none other than the notorious Angel of the Slums. People worship her as some kind of folk hero. But there's no denying she's the one that done did it. I mean, look at this calling card. The Garden Angle 3? Well, they must have meant to write Guardian Angel. Oh, come on, Garden Angle. <laughs> Listen to me. I guarantee this is not the work of the Angel. I saw it with my own eyes. Three shady-looking types wandering around, scouting their mark, I bet. Well, if you're so sure, then bring them here. Prove to me this wasn't the work of your beloved guardian angel. You heard the man, Merc. I've got to find those thieves to clear the angel's name, and I need your help to do it. She would never, ever do anything to harm the less fortunate. Find the three I saw and bring them here to me. They ran off toward the old expressway on the other side of Evergreen Park. Okay, let's go. This, uh, this doesn't take too long. All we need to do is make sure that we have fire on cloud and let's put HP absorption back on, get more AP with it. Oh yeah, actually we have to change a few things. HP up, MP up. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Magic up. And let's go with prayer because we're so close to finishing that. Cool. Off we go. And we have first strike and whatever the other thing was, right? Yeah, skill master. Cool. Okay. So yeah, this these side quests are essentially like a different set of side quests and completing these will give us a few <clears throat> nice things like we'll get a manuscript for cloud which is excellent actually we should be able to get the blood sucker ability as soon as we or can we get it now no not yet that's weird maybe we got telluric scripture yeah we got telluric scriptures for defeating the hell house um am i going the right yes i am <laughs> jesus i was like hang on am i going the right way so we go all the way here to where we entered the park from and we find you probably might have guessed it by now Get in there, do a spin, triple slash, triple slash, damn. Uh, this fight is kind of annoying because it's not hard, but if they manage to use that stupid blue thing, it can get dangerous, as demonstrated. Okay, here we go. So for this guy, we want to run away. Let him do his thing here. Oops. Nope. Okay. Come on. Should be enough. Yep. Hey, there we go. We got the art of swordplay volume eight. You're coming with me. the angels of the slums? Oh man, you're real stupid! We're the garden angels! Get it right! Shut your trap, moron! Huh. You don't honestly think that the beloved angel of the slums could be any of these three idiots, do you? Nah, I recognize the masks. 
These guys are just small-time crooks who've been pestering folks around here for a minute. Should have listened to you earlier. Sorry about this. Well, you should be sorry. I'll consider us square. Once you've taught these boys a lesson. Deal. All right, get moving. Hey, watch it! Not so rough, you lummox. Yeah, you lummox, you lump nuts. So what about the donations? Do you need help taking them to the leaf house? Kind of you to offer, but I can manage on my own. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Better, even. It's the angel of the slums. She took the ton stuff. He's going to be pissed. Well, I'll be seeing you. <laughs> Thanks to you, we can put this mess behind us. I'm grateful. The guardian angel of the slums. Radiant defender of the downtrodden? Huh. Wonder if I'm an accomplice. Okay. Well, that's everything. Uh, let's go just quickly. Inventory, key items. Where's the fake one? Fake calling card. A calling card with the following message. We are the Garden Angel. We are the Garden Angle 3. This belongs to us now. Garden Angle 3. Real calling card. Merc, thanks for catching the imposters and clearing my name. This is a token of my appreciation. The Guardian Angel of the Slums. All right, cool. So that's that one done. Uh, also, let's quickly go into upgrade weapons. Hard edge. Before I forget. This will make things a lot easier. Go here and unlock Bloodsucker. Done. Now I can change it back to priority attack. Oops. Yes. All right, done. Now we have to go do the stupid um, uh, squats. It's really annoying that you have to do this, but you do. I don't know if I have enough time to do the whole thing. I, I, you know what? I'll just keep going until I finish it because I definitely know there's not 40 minutes of content left. But I also think it's a little short for 20 minutes. Or a little little more than 20 minutes. Unless everything goes perfectly. But I have to watch some cutscenes, so that's what's make that that's what makes it hard. Alright, so I think you need 13, if I'm not mistaken, to win this. <laughs> But uh, I'll get much more than that if I don't screw up. <laughs> the music in this is good. If you look at Jules in the background, every single time I complete a full squat, he just keeps repeating his animation. <laughs> and he also keeps repeating the audio lines. Forty six, that's pretty good. For, uh, against the first guy. Although I don't know if it's the same as oh, there you go, fifteen you needed. I don't know if it's the same as Tifa's one, because there's something about like how quick it operates. It should operate slower on the first difficulty and then faster as you go. Okay, so burning thighs, and now we get um, the next secret side quest. Don't know what the hell I was stuck on then. There. Uh, Alright, so the way this side quest works... This is kind of annoying, I, I really like... I don't mind this side quest, but the way they did it, they were, the way they went about it was really silly. I'm going to put Lightning Elemental on for Cloud. So you go here. Why, hey there, champ. Got word from Madam M. She said you had time to kill before Aerith's ready for the big event. So, uh, what do you say to taking on a little extra work while you're waiting around? We've got a hell of a lot of fans clamoring to see their favorite champ go another round or ten. And something tells me they're not going to rest until they see you kick ass again. Now get on down to the Coliseum ASAP. And if you follow him, let's see, watch, he just goes from there and he's gone. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, this is called, I think it's Shears' counterattack. Counter -attack. It's basically, we're going to fight the jury rigged cutter, which was in the Coliseum, I want to say, last time. 
in, when we played on normal mode. There was some kind of like secret way you could access the... Yeah, I think it was the one of the final matches in the Colosseum, maybe in Chapter 14, not in Chapter 9. And yeah, uh, we're going to fight him solo as Cloud. And here's the weird thing. On PS4, much much like what just happened with the uh, the Bandits, Beck, Book and, Beck, Burk and Butch, he's actually a little bit tougher than he might first seem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save. Cool. And you just got to like pummel him as quickly as possible because he can get pressured really easily, but he doesn't stay he doesn't stay pressured very long that's the key so let's go in two three triple slash hit him a few times there we go there's the pressure i'm gonna build up my pressure gauge now if i had managed to get a auto counter off there nope. let's try this damn it Come on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, a little bit on the tough side. Like, honestly, he did a lot of damage to me, so... Another Heart of Sword play for Cloud. I don't think he can learn anything yet, right? 18, 14... Or... No, he needs, like, one or two more points. Come on. Let me out. Okay, now Madam M talks to you. Very nicely done. <laughs> Here's your cut. You earned it. Wait, you're here? What about Aerith? My people are working on her hair right now. I thought I'd take the opportunity to drop by and watch her match. <laughs> I have to admit, I never get tired of seeing Sam's precious toys take a beating. <sighs> All right. <sighs> I can tell by your hands you've come a long way. They're the hands of a fighter who has found new purpose. A woman? Or two? I wonder. Just doing what I've always done. <laughs> anyway, Aerith should be finishing up soon. I'll go on ahead to check on her. Whenever you're ready, come back to the parlor. Okay, now we get the trophy, best in the business, which is for completing every single side quest in the game. And that's why you can't get it on normal mode, you have to do those two on hard mode. Uh, well, you can do those ones on normal mode, but you'd have to do Madam M's requests, so there's a slight difference there. Okay, we're getting pretty close now. I'm pretty confident, like, the only thing is... I may have to skip the dancing scene, like just cut it out entirely because it's going to take up time and we've already seen it once, but uh, I don't know, I'll think about it because there's still a few scenes we have to actually watch. Check in on Aerith, yes, Johnny will come here, talk, telling us about Tifa. Bro, I can't call you bro, right? Nope. <laughs> Just want to say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. Go, 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 go. All those other NPCs just like talking over each other. You know, I really wish I could be just like you. My problem. Well, this is it for me. Call me great. Yes, sir. All right, now we go into the mansion, we come back out, and we'll see... There's a very slight variation to how Aerith's new costume or dress uh, occurs. So we'll watch the cutscene until it sort of starts to repeat. You again? Got that letter? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's for... Who? Well, either way, you're... I wasn't asking... Mm -hmm. Wouldn't try it if I... If you even... And that's someone... Or it could wind up... Get it? You're in the dawn. Anyway, you got... If you're sure you... But... If I were you. Okay, here we go. So now we exit. And we should get the cutscene here. Ha! 
Go on. Hey, ya. Uh. Hey, what are you wearing? I hear Corneo likes his girls super duper girly and dolled up. But I thought he might appreciate something a little more down to earth for a change. What? You don't like it? I didn't say that. Then, does that mean you do like it? Uh. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Okay. Did Johnny for the one asking me? Right. Who knows what the press the start by accident because I thought Come I could on. see what according to Matt. Skip that in that way. I like this second dress actually. I, I I'm actually struggling to decide whether I like the red one or this pink one better. But the, the red one has just like Look at you. such a uh, like it's very striking, and this one's just very very like pretty. I guess I don't know. It's very nice. Come on. Move it, move it. <laughs> I love. I was looking to confirm what I already knew that there is no one hotter than you. <laughs> what a funny line. Come on, come on, come on. All right, here we go. Back at the honeybee inn. So yeah, I might skip the scene with the dance because I think it's just gonna... It's exactly the same, there's no difference. I think what I'll do, yeah, you know what, I'll skip the dance, but I'll keep the um, the makeup and stuff for Cloud, because I actually I skipped that during practice as well, I haven't really watched it. And yeah, I think that is a good way to take up the, the rest of the episode. We're gonna finish this, we're gonna finish chapter 9 this time, this episode, but... Still. Alright, now for this one, what you want to do, go straight there, talk to the ladies, they'll say something each. One, two, three. Yes, head to the stage, yes, skip the practice session. So I'm going to skip this cutscene, and then now the dance starts, so I'm going to cut this out and I'll meet you at the end of the dance. Almost missed that. <laughs> hey, what do you know, I finally got perfect. <laughs> I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! It's so difficult to tell whether this is a different dress, so yeah, in fact no, it is definitely a different dress because the, the other one was more like dark, it's had darker, like almost black, but they are very similar. Notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid, Cloud. Such an amazing scene. They really knocked it out of the park with that one. Alright, come on, Cloud. Go, 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 go. Now we get to look at Aerith as well. Just wait until you see Tifa. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is gonna go about 30 minutes, I think. Okay, so we'll let Cloud go over there. <laughs> he just like randomly bumps into it. <laughs> they couldn't have programmed that walk sequence better. <laughs> okay, and talk. Not a word. One. But you're so pretty. Alright, here we go. Let's go to Corneo, and we've got like basically a few quick fights to do, and then the Corneo sequence. Which I'm pretty much going to skip the entirety. Oh, I just realized, I don't know if I skipped that opening cutscene for chapter 10. That's alright, I'll end the episode, I'll quickly watch the cutscene uh, after that, and like off, um, I don't know, some other way, using my old episode and see if it's worth it. Yeah, so I don't know, I don't know how I feel about this dress, it's like fine, I guess. Alright, go, 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 go. Yeah, this won't take too long. Because we're pretty much still going to skip everything. <laughs> Leslie's reaction is so perfect. No way. <laughs> he recognizes straight away what's going on. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Yes, I know. Yep, we are. I know. I've done this a million times. <laughs> go, 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 go. Open the door. Open the door. Alright, I'm gonna skip this. And we get to see Tifa. Holy cow. Now that is a dress. <laughs> this room gives me the creeps. And if you, the cool thing about, I don't know if I showed this off, but if you look at Tifa and you walk to her. Well? <laughs> she does this. Do you do the same thing? You know you're into this. Wow. <laughs> well, ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling do it again, Tifa. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. And Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. I'm gonna be completely honest, her mature one, like her final dress, I actually think that one's the best. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, up, 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 up. It's so funny how like, all, you know, most people, like I talked about before, uh, exotic does not mean erotic. And probably most people picked the exotic their first playthrough, but if they had picked mature, it would have been like, that's much better. <laughs> Okay, for this part, what I want to do, so you've got Fire Elemental, Revival AP up, uh, get rid of these two, HP up, MP up, Magic up, First Strike, and what was I putting here for you, let's go with ATB Assist, if I can get there, and I guess Prayer, yeah, put Prayer on, and then for Tifa, we're going to give her, let's see if I can remember as well, this is a bit tricky, Fire Elemental, I didn't really write it down. Basically what I gave Cloud the first time. Fire Elemental, HP Absorption over here, Warding over here. I've got to give her the other. Uh, she definitely wants to have, yeah, that's right. Um, cloud stuff, so HP up, MP up, Magic up, Skill Master, and she needs First Strike as well. We'll give her the Barrett's Force Bracelet, give her First Strike. And does she need anything else? I'm just trying to think. First Strike, Skill Master, not healing. What does she need? Uh, not ATB Boost. Ah, uh, did I give her, I guess the only other thing I can really give her is Luck Up. I'll give her that for now. Or she can have the other HP up here, yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. Alright, we won't reach 30 minutes, we'll get close, but not not quite. Oh, she's got a lot of HP. So you don't need to go downstairs to fight the the two guys down there, but you do need to fight these ones. And the way I like to fight them... Well, you can do one of two things. You can go... So get Tifa to use Dive Kick on one of them. And then maybe fire that one. Done. Worked up a good sweat. Okay, now we go into the next one, and now I can't remember what, which one I picked. I think I didn't pick the middle one, so I'm gonna pick the middle one this time. 
because I remember like I'd skipped it and I'd left it on whatever the default was. So I'm going to pick this one when they think they've already won. When they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all expenses paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> <laughs> okay, done. Chapter 9 on hard difficulty complete. This is the cutscene that I've got to watch off screen to make sure there's nothing important here. So I'll go do that and figure out how that works. But for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 90 of Let's Planet Final Fantasy VII Remake. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.